Let me ask you about global governance of AI, right? So as this battle plays out, how, what role do you see global governance playing here? Is it going to be a little bit of a free for all for some time to come, or do you feel that that the countries of the world might actually be able to come together to form certain core principles, certain institutions, maybe even to uh, govern the development of AI? Well, I think. We're going to have to. And I think um, having some kind of global governance for AI is, is not a choice, it's a necessity. Um, but it, I think it's likely to take some time to get there. That right now you see a lot of interest among countries on the global stage about this. The UN Secretary General has talked about global governance for AI. The UN Security Council recently met on this particular issue. But there's so much debate about, you know, what do we even mean when we say AI? What are we, ta are we talking about? Facial recognition? Are we talking about chat GPT? Are we talking about self-driving cars? Are we talking um, about AI uh, in military, correct? Or in the military. That's correct. Where countries have been having discussions at the United Nations back since 2014. So really almost a decade. Um, but they have yet to reach agreement on any kind of consensus on what to do. So you know, diplomacy is moving a lot slower than the technology. Technology is racing forward very quickly. So there's a real imperative for countries to come together particularly around AI safety, to ensure the systems that companies are building are gonna be fielded in a way that's safe. It's not going to cause accidents, but I do think it's probably gonna take some time to get to some global governance that we're gonna to need to develop for AI. Yeah, and for incentives to get aligned.